Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you how I created this plugin that creates a road with a camera going down it for lack of a better way to describe it. And I'll show you how easy this is to set up so give this just a second. But this video is going to be split up into two parts. First I'm going to just show you how to download the plugin and set the path to the image file that you also need to download or if you don't want to download the image file you can create it in the second half of this video actually it's going to be more than the second half but the the remainder of this video is going to after we set it up is just going to be how to create that little texture file because i originally was going to use i had a stock photo that i let me just show you briefly the stock photo that i have and I can't give away a stock photo that I purchased. It's roughly something like this. But we can create something that looks just like it. So that's what we're going to do in the second half of this video. But the first half of this video, we're going to go ahead and let me just jump over to my GitHub page. And I'll put the links to this in the description. It's just GitHub Data Juggler Python Scripts. And then here I've got Asphalt with Four Stripes. Just click on it. And it tries to show the file, ignore that, but just click on uh, download, right? Oops, sorry. Click on download and save that to your hard drive somewhere and keep track of where you saved it. And then the second part is this one right here called Infinite Road. So just click it. And if you, the easiest way to download that file, you can either click, um, yeah, you can just click on raw is what I usually do hit raw and then hit control a and control C and then open up either notepad or I use visual studio or whatever you if you have notepad plus plus or whatever you use for your text editor of choice and that's the only thing you need to do once you download it let's go back over to visual studio because it's got line numbers that's why I use visual studio line number 43 you're going to need to change to whatever path you download this file and that's all you have to do to set this up so we can come over here to iclone say file new project in case you had a project open and you have to create a camera that's the first step you have to do so just make sure your scene has a camera and it has to be named camera which it will be unless you changed it and then click on load Py python and load this Python that you just downloaded and here's a little message that I said to myself because I kept forgetting to create a camera so I put that little message there now give this just a second I should have filled out the progress bar but I'm lazy once I get something working I'm like well you know it'll work so that's one of those okay so here is our and then notice the the hard part here is all you have to do is hit play and the camera is going right down the little path. I thought that was kind of neat. If you, uh, you know, it's on my list. Some future things I want to do to this is like trees and ditches and, you know, there's all kind of things like a shoulder to a road usually has a shoulder. There's a lot of things you could do to this, but I thought it was kind of neat that without, you know, didn't add a single prop to the set and the, just running that script and making sure you have that texture file is all you have to do. So that was how the, the little script runs. Now, the second half of this video is just going to be how I created this texture file. If you want to stick around, I think it's pretty interesting using my site. And I'm also going to show you how to use the UV maps of iClone if you've never used them. So it's a good, and I've got a tool that makes that pretty simple also. The same tool, my website, pixeldatabase.net. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the second half of this video or it's actually not probably not the half but we're going to go and say file new project and I'm using paint.net for this if you're rich and you use Photoshop I'm just gonna assume you know how to create a file in Photoshop I've never been that rich so I wouldn't know what you one percenters do but this file is going to be very big it's going to be 3840 by 2160 so let me uh, just create that and I'm just gonna save it and I'm going to be working out of my temp folder just so I have an empty area to work in. Call it white.png. Okay, now I'm going to go over to my website. Let me close everything I got open because I don't need it. And I'm going to go over to pixeldatabase.net. I'm going to go to my temp folder again. And I'm going to select white 
our little white image here. Now I'm just going to type update. Set color 20, 20, 20. And that's just the RGB values for a very dark gray. Okay. And now from here, I want to make the rest of the image. It's not. I want it to be not just gray. I want it to be partially have some texture and be black. So we're going to say set color black. And we're going to say scatter. And scatter just means a certain percentage of pixels are going to be set to black randomly in theory. And then so I'm going to set this to kind of a high number. Like we'll go with 50. Somewhere in there. And this is a... Uh, you know, 3840 by 2160, so it's a kind of big image, but it's not that big as far as uh, memory-wise. Being the random numbers take a little while is why that's a little bit slower. Okay, so that gives us a little bit of texture there to our image. Then the other thing I want to do is I want to put a little bit of white in it, and this is going to be like 2.8, not very much at all. But this is just so it's not just black on gray. This just kind of gives it a little bit of, I don't know, it just looks a little better. Okay, so that gives us our little bit of white. Now we're going to draw our stripes. And for this, I kind of cheated. I set my column values up before the video started so I wouldn't have to... Uh, try to guess but and for this we're going to use scatter but I'm going to use a number somewhere around 32 and then I'm going to say where and I'm going to say x between 200 and 320 and that will do our first stripe and now we're going to do the next stripe is going to be yellow and if you wanted that stripe to be a little brighter you could make this number you know a little higher than 32 but I thought that looked a little looked pretty good there when I was playing around with it before the video started and then the next one is going to be 1760 to 1880 and I'm kinda of talking to myself here because I have the memory of a squirrel okay that's our yellow line and the second yellow line is going to be at 1960 to 2080 so I can just change that That's our, and then our final white line is going to be 3520 to 3640, and this needs to be white also. Okay, so that gives us our, our partial, partially gives us our stripes image. Let me show you what we have to do next. We're going to download this, and I am going to call this uh, asphalt. We'll just call this four stripes. This is a temporary image. Okay, now we're going to go to iClone, and this is the part where we're talking about the UV map. So I'm going to just go to the Modify tab, which I don't have visible. And I'm going to go over here and click on the UV Reference button right there and launch that. That will launch for me in Paint.net. Again, if you're a one percenter, that will launch in Photoshop. But now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this on my hard drive as UV map black and I'm going to go to my temp folder oh wait that's it they tried to make it a PNG and I want it to be a bitmap I mean uh, they tried to make it a bitmap and I want it to be a PNG go to my temp folder and we'll just call this UV black okay Now this image right here happens to be 11,600 by 6,000 something and the reason I will show you in just a second but that's why this is a little bit uh, larger image. But we're going to open that image up. I think you can actually still, let me look at the size of it before I tell you something. You oops, we already had that open. Sorry I don't need two of those. Temp. Uh, yeah, that's only 96K, so even though it's huge image, you can open it uh, on my site. It's uh, 4 megs is the limit for, unless you signed up, you can go higher. Okay, so we'll just select this on my site. So we have, give that just a second to load. Now here, what I want to do, those lines are pretty hard to see, so we'll change that here in a second. But first, I'm going to say, say hide total less than 20, and that'll just get rid of the black. See 
so that's a 80 million pixels or 76 million pixels in that and those lines are pretty hard to see because I don't see very well so I'm just gonna say set color white to make it as kind of bright as possible and that'll just make those kind of dark lines a little brighter oh I have hide <laughs> uh, we'll go with update luckily hide doesn't work with set color white so sorry computers do what you tell them okay I'm gonna get a sip because that's okay so let me download this and that's now a transparent image and we're gonna just call this UV overlay and I'm gonna open this up okay and now you can barely see that but there is something there but what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna open up another layer and I'm gonna open up this asphalt file that we didn't save so we're gonna since I skipped a step here and of course I always do this but we're not gonna start the video over I'm going to temporarily close this and I'm gonna open up our white one again and just say update set color just really quickly without talking because I'll mess something up and then I'm gonna do the black scatter 50 and this I needed to download as the asphalt picture because th this image is going to be we need two images one is the the background for the box and then the other is the 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 top part of the box that has the stripes but this way so I'll just download this sorry about that that was an extra little thing but I've done this so many times that, okay and we're gonna now just call this asphalt and I have the real ones but I was just showing you what I this is the steps of it so now that I have this I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna resize this and I cheated over here in Excel I've got my little value and I'm gonna go back here and it's set on maintain aspect ratio make sure you have that and now then I've got this so what I want to do is go over I'm gonna hit control A and control C to select all and then control C to copy and that's a big image so give that a second for paint.net to catch up and I want to paste this here and I'm gonna move that layer down so the little grid lines show up on top of that excuse me sip of water now in the next layer on which I want I'm going to come over here and I'm gonna open up our this one the four stripes now keep in mind this is 3840 by 2160 so I'm just showing you why our first image is so big that's uh yeah right here so on this layer when I paste this in now our grid lines stay that's why I like that transparent layer it makes it uh, it's easier for me to see where to paste stuff with the uh, let me kind of zoom in because I'll mess this up if I don't but you just kind of zoom in here and biggest thing is you want to make sure it doesn't hurt if you go a little bit out you don't want to go a little under because if you go a little under you're gonna mess up okay so that looks fine I'm gonna go ahead and now <clears throat> excuse me hide our layer that has our little grid lines and I'm gonna save this and this is the same in theory I might have you know, done something slightly differently but we're just gonna call this asphalt with four stripes and if you chose not to download the file in the first part you could use this image that's basically how I created the uh, the stripes image and this I can give away because we just created it I, the other one this stock photo that I you know had purchased I can't give away so that's why I wanted to create this and I think mine actually looks better as far as iClone goes because I'll just play it here at the beginning because this image is I call the word normalized I think that's the right term but it's basically just the beginning of each segment looks the same as the, and you can tell a little bit of a line it actually looks better you know cause I saw a little bit of a flicker in iClone and I was worried it wasn't gonna look very good on the video but that's why at the beginning of the video I played a a video that actually you know I rendered the video at 3840 by 2160 and it I think it looks fine 
So that's my short video, or it's not too short, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you think that's pretty neat being able to create props and do things in iClone just with, uh, you know, instead of having to do it manually? Once I learned Python and how to do some of this, I've been doing less and less manual creation of props in iClone because this kind of takes it to a whole nother level. So, all right, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.